What's up you guys? Today we're going to be talking about JetBlue, whether if it's a buy or not. I'm going to give you guys my personal opinion on the stock and at what price point you want to buy the stock. All I ask if you just take 5 seconds of your time, hit that like button below, it really helps out this channel. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. So let's go on the computer now and talk about JetBlue the stock. So we have here on our left ticker symbol JBLU JetBlue Airways. So I personally think that we haven't hit the bottom yet for this stock. I'm using here the Fibonacci tool. It really helps me out with finding out support and resistant line. After using the Fibonacci tool, you can see that it goes for the most part with it. Here's the resistance actually. It breaks down, hits this support, breaks it, uses it as resistance, and you can see it really bounces off these lines here. And I personally think we haven't hit the bottom yet for this stock. And and within due time of course I think personally we're gonna see below six we might see around four to five dollar range it might take some time for it to get there nobody's gonna be flying at least for a couple of weeks you know the US is pretty much on lockdown a lot of countries are on lockdown nobody's really flying at the moment and these airlines are not really making money with this little pump we had a little bull trap here a lot of people saw an uptrend here and they thought maybe it might be too late to get in they didn't want to miss out they didn't want to get FOMO FOMO is the fear of missing out so they bought in here and now they're seeing it drop again a lot of people are asking me whether they want to buy you know when they see an uptrend I personally think you need to have patience with this market we haven't seen the lower lows yet this is the S&P 500 and a lot of big you know people that do this for a living they're actually buying spy puts around this area even if they see it hit 270 in my personal opinion is that we're going to see the 200 level and the 180 level at least within due time you know this whole situation we're pretty much in the beginning stages of it so even after this whole pandemic ends we're still going to have basically repercussions like the economy is going to slow down for a bit people are still going to kind of lose their jobs businesses are going to be slow because people are not going to have money to spend on businesses which allows less people to hire so it's gonna be you know it's not gonna go back to normal as quickly as possible it's gonna be kind of a snowball effect a tool that I personally use when buying stock I always check the balance sheet and the financials of the company so what I use is a tool called market watch all you have to do is google it put the ticker symbol JBLU for JetBlue and then we're gonna go down to financials and we're gonna look at their balance sheet their income statement how much cash they have on hand total assets and liabilities for the company so you want to go here this is going to allow us to know how much the cash they have on hand and the assets so they have 959 million on hand in cash they also got the stimulus package as well to help them out in total assets they have 11.92 billion and liabilities has about 7.12 billion and liabilities is basically think of it like a credit card you know it's just the unpaid balances that you owe still for the company and assets is actually what you own considering you know their planes that they have paid off all the equipment and cash on hand as well so I like to always check the balance sheet for every company to see how much cash they have on hand especially at this time where you know they're gonna have to conserve as much cash as possible they also have a stimulus package to help them out with the deal long term if they accept it and we're actually we're gonna be talking about a little tool that I use this is really good for new beginners that are starting to trade all you have to do is type in fear and greed index there's a quote from Warren Buffett that you want to be greedy when others are fearful. Fear is at 26. It's funny because if you look here, when this big sell-off was happening right here, the meter was like at one or two and that was a great time to buy. So it's at 26 right now. And right here, it was almost at like 100. You know, so you want to start selling off when you start seeing this like at 95, 100. And when you see this at extreme fear, like zero to five, you want to start loading up. The SPY S&P 500, I see the SPY hitting at least 200, 200 here, and then 180 for JetBlue. I personally think what's the buying target for this that we're going to see below six dollars so i would start loading up positions around six five and even maybe 450 we might see 413 a little quick bounce and then a little bit of an uptrend i will start loading up positions little by little here that's my personal opinion on this stock i think it's a good buy long term and i do think within two to three years you'll see a good investment a big news that we have to look out for is actually the unemployment data is coming out on this friday april 3rd that's going to be pretty big news and it's going to drive the market i think it's either going to you know make it really bearish or really bullish i personally think we're going to see record breaking numbers of unemployment and i do think it's going to be the start of a new 
wave down. That's my personal opinion. I could be wrong. You know, you always want to do your own due diligence when I'm making an investment. You know, you just don't want to listen to a random guy on YouTube. But I personally think we haven't seen the new low yet. And if I wanted to buy this stock, I personally would wait around the six and five dollar area. And even for fifty, I would start loading up positions and hold within two to three years. So hopefully this video helps you out, guys. I personally would buy this stock around six dollars five and even for 50 if there's any other companies that you want me to review feel free to leave them in the comment below and i'll get to them i'm going to be started doing stocks in the hotel industry because i know a lot of those stocks not a lot of people are playing those stocks and i think that's a really good benefit because a lot of those stocks actually have a lot of cash on hand for example mgm has a lot of cash and it's a really good buy at a good price point we're going to start answering three questions on every video from our last video so make sure to leave a comment below if you want me to answer what would be the best price for visa i personally think we haven't hit the low yet for visa you see here that we have a little bit of an uptrend from last week from the stimulus package it's tough to say exactly how low it will go i do think it hasn't bottomed yet i do think we might see the low from this whole pandemic has been 133 but i do see that we can hit 127 or even maybe 116 area depending how this whole situation plays out i know a lot of people are going to be using their credit cards more often should you buy carnival right now since they came out with news that raised debt with six million dollars i personally don't think yet i do think there's going to go lower i think it's going to go lower than how it's been so far like i said before i made a video on that i personally think we haven't hit the bottom yet for a carnival i think personally you should start loading positions at 850 or lower seven six at lowest we might see around 550 so you bought norwegian at 15 dollars and 50 cents you're currently at a seven thousand dollar loss because it's still down trending and it hasn't hit the bottom yet i personally wouldn't take the loss if you're going to hold it long term from two to three years you're still going to make a profit on that yeah you might not maximize your profit but honestly you're still going to make money from it uh capitalize on the gains you could if you want to average down i really wouldn't recommend it or buying stocks from another company maybe carnival or something else maybe MGM. I wouldn't average down on the same stock because you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. Make sure to hit that like button below, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys on the next video.